Good morning. Good morning, Figsy. Figsy. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a big yawn for a little girl. Good morning, Free Bats. So I thought I'd just show you my morning flat belly. As you can see, it's nice and lean. And this is after smashing in the carbs the night before, unlimited carbohydrates. And you know, it's because I don't eat slow digesting foods like meat and dairy that get stuck in the colon and make you all bloated. I eat fast digesting foods, which are plant foods, low fat, high fiber foods. They work. So before I go for my ride, I'm gonna have this banana. Okay, I don't like to have any more than really one banana before a bike ride or before a jog because I like to have a nice empty stomach so it's not disrupting me while I exercise. Okay, so when I get back, I'm going to smash in the carbs, so I'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm back from my bike ride and I've got this little orange entree. This isn't enough for one whole meal, so I'm just going to have this kind of pre-breakfast nosh. And then I'm going to have some bananas. All right, so stay tuned. Hey, free bus, it's really Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So I just got the bike and I had some OJ and I'm about to have some banana smoothie as well. And I was just thinking about today's topic, which is Smosh going vegan. So not exactly the whole team of Smosh is going vegan, but maybe eventually they will. But Anthony, one of the members, Anthony, and his fiance, Kalel, they are actually on the vegan path. And I was just so happy to hear this because... It is such a huge step forward for the YouTube community because Smosh, like if you don't know who Smosh is, then you must have been living under a rock because they've got nearly 20 million subscribers. They're huge on YouTube, one of the, ch the top channels watched by millions and millions of people. And I found out about them being on the vegan path because I went to their vlog channel, went to Anthony and Kalel's vlog channel, and I saw her talking about you know animal cruelty. And it just really touched me so much okay i wanted to show you a bit of the footage check this out okay i totally realized that i shouldn't be vlogging this but i just went and watched the video again because i wanted to make sure that it wasn't too bad before i told you guys to watch it and it's just i haven't watched it in a really long time but watching it even though i don't even eat meat just makes me feel so fucking sad <laughs> i probably look like fucking kim kardashian right now like so stupid but you guys don't understand how bad it is and it's just so fucked up that we do this and that people don't understand what's happening <laughs> And I just want more than anything, like if I could have one wish of life, even if it meant like after my wish I had to live on the streets for the rest of my life, I would wish to go into every single slaughterhouse and free all of those animals and give them love. Because it just is just so heartbreaking to me. I cried along with Kalel when she said she wanted to take all the animals and give them love. I totally feel that too. And that's one of the major reasons that we're, you know, we promote what we do while we do what we do. And I love how Kalel's got all these links in the description, you know, just to inform people and to educate people. It's so important. She's also got a link to Paul McCartney's video. If sort of houses had glass walls. Hi, and, I'm Paul McCartney. And I'm also going to put a link to that video in the description below as well. And she said she got 100,000 people to watch that video. So that was incredible. And I ended up putting a comment down below here, just a supportive comment. And I was shocked because Kalal actually commented on, on my thread. And I was like, whoa, you know, this is great. You know, I'd love to be in contact with her. And, and I just said something else. And she said, I'd love to talk to you more. So she sent me an email and we had a chat. And I'm so glad to be in contact with her. So please don't fall for it anymore, folks. The meat and dairy industry is the most murderous, corrupt industry on the planet. They're raping the planet in front of our eyes. And you've got to remember, every dollar you lay down is a vote for what you believe in. And I know you don't believe in pain and suffering, in supporting pain and suffering and destruction of the earth. I know you don't want to support that. So take your money out of that industry. Don't support it anymore. Let's destroy that industry together. 
We have the power as a people. We have the power, but we need to realize that. We need to see the truth. And that's why vegans are so passionate. You know, we actually give a shit about your health, about other people's health, about the animals, about the planet surviving and thriving. We want to see the community get together. We actually care. That's why we're so passionate and we speak up. You know, I don't want to show, like, animal cruelty scenes. No way. I don't want to show that. I don't want to, like, hurt you guys. I don't want to do that. I don't want to see it myself. But I know that you have to see the truth of your choices. You deserve to see the truth. Okay? It's been hidden from you for far, far too long. Okay, so, and I just want to say, Kalau, like, good on you, girlfriend. You're being so brave by speaking about it on video. I know how hard that was. And you know, you know what it's like when, you know, your friends around you or your viewers, you know, they're not vegan, then you're going to get probably attacked a bit. But you've got to remember the three stages of the truth. You've got to remember we were there once. You know, we were, we didn't know. So just expect that. Just embrace it and... Yeah, carry on. You're doing such a great thing for the movement. You've got such a huge channel. You can reach so many people. Please keep speaking up. You can save so many people's lives, save so many animals' lives as well, and literally change this planet. So please, please keep speaking up. And everyone, if you could go over there and support Kalel, I'm going to put, like, a link in the description below. Give her some love. Give her some vegan love and support. And I just want to say thank you so much to all you fruit bats because... You know, I couldn't reach as many people as I am without you. You are all, every single one of you is a part of this. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I just love you all. I really, really do. Because when I say, you know, when I suggest to go and, you know, comment, you actually do it because you care. You care enough to take action. And that's what I love. That's one of the things I love about the vegan community. We have a full blender of bananas with some coconut sugar and we've got some vanilla drops and it's really good if you can get some coconut water as well because that just like oh yum that just really sets a smoothie off if you put coconut water in it i don't know what it is but it just banana and coconut water goes really really well so try it so i'm getting this whole big box of wow. potatoes potatoes these are um, dutch creams and yes, you and so yummy. Steel, which is just telling me he's a celebrity now <laughs> since, <laughs> since being on YouTube. Thanks to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are already a celebrity. Oh. Yeah. So we, I saw these bikinis. <laughs> I love the name too. No, it's great. Caramelized bikinis, which is um, buckwheat, organic and activated. And the fat was fairly low, so I'm just going to check it out. Okay, so we have our smoothie here, and I put some bikinis in there, and also some coconut sugar, and that should be pretty yummy. So I wanted to give you an update on mum's veggie garden that she put in. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's weeds and what's actual food here. I'm thinking, I think these are chives, or spring onions or something coming up, so they're doing pretty good. They're growing like a weed. Um, the lettuce kind of failed miserably, got eaten to bits. This one looks okay, but it's just so, hasn't really grown much. Okay, so here we have dinner. We've got a potato and pumpkin soup, lots and lots of potato in there. We also got this nice pie that Princess brought me. It's like lentil and mushroom. And we've got some salad and yeah, that's a good start. So that's the end of a week of vlogging. There's Figsy in the background. I hope you enjoyed the week with us. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And I was thinking like, if you want me to do a how to go vegan video, because I've got so many new subscribers, I was thinking that's probably a good idea. If you think it's a good idea, please press the like button, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want me to do that. And you know, this week has been pretty amazing. I, I really feel like the ball is rolling in the direction of veganism. Like the YouTube community is really opening up to it. Like a lot is happening at the moment and there's more to come. I've got more exciting news, but I'm not you know, going to share it just yet. So I hope you enjoyed this week and I will see you on Monday. We will see you on Monday. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Have a great weekend. Check out my blueberry fueled muscles. And remember folks, there's always time for a banana.